Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to Share Views, brought to you by London South East. Our guest today is Dr. Vladislav Sandler, co-founder and CEO of Hemogenics, who listed in London in October and held an AGM yesterday. Welcome, Vladislav. Thank you for inviting me. It's our pleasure. Now, why don't we begin by uh, getting you to summarize the Hemogenics business for us? Well, Hemogenics is a biopharmaceutical company that was started, went into operations in 2015, and we are trying to change the way bone marrow transplants are being done. And bone marrow transplants are very serious procedures that are given to people who suffer from uh, very serious uh, blood diseases like leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma. And usually blood, a bone marrow transplant is a procedure of the last resort for these people. So these people went through the uh, frontline therapy. Uh, some of them relapsed, the disease came back, and the only uh, option for these people to survive is to get a good bone marrow transplant. Here comes hemogenics trying to change and improve drastically this procedure. And yesterday was the first AGM as a, as a London listed uh, company. So how did that go? Well, it was quite exciting and very unusual for me and for, for the American side of the company. Uh, and I think the AGM went very smooth. Uh, all resolutions were passed and we are quite pleased. Now, I'm going to ask you to, uh, uh, to talk about the two key areas of bone marrow transplant research you specialize in. Uh, the first of them is called CDX. If you could explain what CDX antibodies are and how they're going to help you replace chemotherapy and radiation as you, as you treat patients. Right. Every bone marrow transplant has two phases. Phase number one is the preparation or conditioning of the patient for the bone marrow transplant. And phase number two is actual transplant of new cells. So uh, phase number one is done usually by application of uh, chemotherapy and radiation. And these treatments are very nonspecific and very toxic. They generate multiple very dangerous side effects. And hemogenics is trying to get rid of chemo and radiation as means to prepare a patient for the bone marrow transplant. And we designed and developed uh, a CDX antibody, a bispecific antibody that redirect, uh, redirects uh, uh, immune cells of the patient, namely T cells, to attack and eliminate unwanted cells in the bone marrow of the patient, preparing the patient for the bone marrow transplant. And at what stage of clinical development are you with, uh, with CDX? Well, we achieved a proof of, proof of principle for these antibodies, uh, so we know that they work. Uh, we tested What exactly them. does proof of principle mean? Well, we created so-called humanized animals. Um, uh, we created mice that have human blood system, and we emulated bone marrow transplant in humans using these mice. So first we made these mice that have human blood system. Then we gave these mice our CDX antibodies. These CDX antibodies removed a human compartment of their blood system and then prepared these uh, mice for the new transplantation. And we gave these mice new uh, human blood stem cells that engrafted and started making new human blood in these mice. So basically we emulated, again, we emulated the process of bone marrow transplant and, we, and, and, and that's how we know that our antibody works. So you're pretty convinced it works. Um, what happens next? What's the pathway? Uh, how long before the whole thing gets to market? And how do you actually fund that pathway? So uh, we got listed on the LSE uh, in order to raise money to complete a formal preclinical development of these antibodies. This will include a pre ind consultation program with the FDA and actual synthesis of these antibodies. Uh, we have to make sufficient quantity of these antibodies to, to go through preclinical, formal preclinical tests and to use the same antibodies for injection into people. And how long do you think the preclinical phase will take? So we will, uh, as of today, we will go uh, into clinical trials within 16 months. Okay. And uh, the partnership announced with Lake Pharma, uh, what is that intended to achieve? Who are Lake Pharma? What will it do for right. you? Well, Lake Pharma is the biggest contract research organization, CRO, uh, that is uh, uh, capable of uh, 
making the antibodies in the U.S. So they have uh, unique capabilities and they will allow us to go uh, without friction from our current state from today uh, up to the clinical trials. So they will pretty much make the sufficient number, sufficient quantity of antibodies uh, that will be used for clinical trials. So they're very useful people to have on site. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, they, uh, they helped uh, multiple companies uh, in their preclinical development and going into phase one clinical trials. Great. And the second area of research uh, for hemogenics are HUFEX. So what are HUFEX, what are they designed to solve, and what are they? Right. So the second phase of every bone marrow transplant is actual transplantation of the new cells. And there is one, at least one, very serious problem with every bone marrow transplant, and that's finding a matching donor. Where do you find a person whose bone marrow, whose cells are matching the recipient, the patient? So um, today this problem becoming sometimes insurmountable simply because of migration and interracial marriages, diversification of the population. So it be, it's becoming more and more difficult to find the matching donor. So we have a, we have a solution uh, to this problem, and the solution is HUFEX, the cells that uh, I discovered when I worked at Cornell. Cornell patented and gave a uh, full license exclusive license to hemogenics on the IP. So basically these cells can be extracted from the patients themselves and stimulated so that they will start making a new blood stem cells that can be transplanted back into the patients. And this will avoid the, uh, the necessity to find a, a donor, a matching donor. So the cells are the patient's own cells. And in terms of, uh, give me the time frame, give me the pathway, you know, how, how long uh, do we have to wait for HUFEX to, to become a, a real treatment? Well, uh, HUFEX are the uh, second uh, candidate, product candidate that we're going to go uh, into clinical trials with, and we anticipate uh, to start clinical trials with HUFEX within 24 to 36 months. And the research par partnership just announced with Oxford University, uh, very prestigious of course, where does that actually fit into uh, to your development? Well, at this stage, um, uh, at, at this stage, this is more like an academic uh, collaboration that is interesting for Oxford, but may open a new uh, opportunities for hemogenics. So basically, we are trying to figure out if uh, a certain type of biologics can convert. Uh, blood stem cells from dormant state into the state of readiness for the transplantation. And this is very interesting because uh, one of the problems with, the, with any bone marrow transplant is um, the time from the transplantation until the moment the cells, transplanted cells, start making new blood. And this type of biologics that we are testing together with Oxford may shorten this time and increase the, uh, the probability of successful transplant and reduce the number of people who suffer and sometimes die after the transplantation. So for us, it's, it, may, it may create a new opportunity to create a new product, but on the other, uh, on the other hand, uh, it does not kind of, if it fails, uh, it doesn't change anything for us. So there is no downside, there is only upside in this collaboration. Do so you think CDX antibodies are your, are your banker? <clears throat> and everything else is a plus? Uh, well, CDX antibodies are the first product candidate that will go into clinical trials. Uh, the second wave is going to be HUFEX, and the collaboration with Oxford may create a new product uh, that will be a plus in addition to what we have already. Okay, let's, uh, let's take you to a hemogenics listing in London. Uh, given that you're essentially a US-based business, why did you decide to list in London? Well, uh, it was some sort of a serendipity because we have uh, London-based investors uh, that uh, put money into, uh, into the company early on and took the risk. And also, uh, London is a very good place for a small company to be listed and raise money. 
so we well on uh, London Stock Exchange main market, uh, and uh, we enjoy uh, the trust of the investors. And but at the same time, we are a tiny, tiny company. Uh, this type of listing would not be possible in in the U.S., for example. So, which is a very pertinent uh, uh, time for me to ask you: Why should U.S. Why should UK investors actually uh, put their money with you? What is your investment case? Well, we have a very solid uh, science, uh, and we're cheap. That's you. <laughs> uh, not only me. We have a fantastic uh, a team of scientists that are working in the lab in Brooklyn, New York. Um, so we have solid science. We achieved proof of principle for both of our product candidates. Um, and we have a, a really outstanding advisory team that, that is made of uh, world-known scientists and business people who trust uh, and who believe in our company and support it and try to move it forward. So because of these things, that you think that makes you a great opportunity? I think we are a great opportunity because we are also very nimble. We move very fast and we know where we are going. So the, the all-important question, what is the size of the market opportunity for these products? Well, a total size uh, for the bone marrow transplants, both in the US and uh, Europe, uh, is about eight to nine billion dollars. Uh, by using our antibodies, CDX antibodies, we can expand actually this market because we can allow people who otherwise would not be able to survive traditional conditioning, traditional preparation for the uh, bone marrow transplant, actually go through this procedure because our antibodies are very specific and they do not cause uh, traditional side effects like loss of hair, loss of fertility, kidney toxicity, liver toxicity, and so on and so on. So it would be much more mild and people would be able to survive it, even those people who are older or who are not uh, in, in the greatest physical shape. So it's not just the current market opportunity, you're actually going to expand the number of people who can be treated with your new we, treatments. Yes, absolutely. And to give you another example, um, today, people who need a bone marrow transplant um, cannot get one. About almost like 40% of all people who, uh, who, need, who need a bone marrow, marrow transplant cannot get one simply because they cannot get a donor. So by using HUFEC, we would solve this problem and we would give this 40% of people who cannot get a transplant today, we would give them an opportunity. So we would expand the market by nearly 40%. Dr. Vladislav Sandler, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching.